Well, digital technology plays a big role in this next story, too. In the United States, approximately 1.7 million people live with limb loss. Modern technology has made huge advancements in making life easier for people using prosthetics. Carolina Impact Sheila Saints introduces us to a teen in Charlotte who now wields a superpower of sorts, her bionic arm. She's the first in North Carolina to get one. Teenager Giovanna Dubuc plays the violin, plays sports, gets good grades, and she's bilingual. If that's not enough, she does almost everything with one hand. Giovanna was born without the lower part of her right arm. I have one hand. It's not that hard to miss. All you gotta do is look at me. I'm also very stubborn. I've always been independent my entire life. That's because her parents made a decision early on. Since she was born, this was a conversation that we have together to say we cannot put any limit on her. That was our first uh, agreement that we say we're not gonna put any limit on her. She has to continue growing the same with any other kid and just try things as everybody do. To me, it was almost like a relief that I would not have to be so protective of her because she she was already, you know, she, she had an innate personality that will, I, it made me feel that she would be fine. Now, Giovanna has a cutting edge solution to help her called a hero arm. Watch her reaction the first time she saw it. This is awesome. Two weeks later, she demonstrated her skills. This is uh, the first grip pattern. The Hanger Clinic partnered with Open Bionics to bring this first medically approved 3D printed bionic arm to the United States. We evaluate the patient, we test their electrical signals, make sure they have good EMGs to operate the arm, and then we do the impression of the arm in order to make sure that it fits and it holds on properly and that the electrodes are in the right spot. Open Bionics custom made the Hero Arm in the United Kingdom using 3D printing and 3D scanning. Motors, software, and batteries power the Hero Arm, which weighs only around two pounds. Here's how it works. Muscle signals in the user's arm actually trigger sensors inside the Hero Arm. And then that means that this Hero Arm can do things like close, open, and grip. One. Which means she can fist bump her brother and grip items like Cheetos or oranges or the handlebars of a bike. Riding my bike is so much easier. Like I will be up there and I'm not crooked anymore. It's so much easier because I don't have to break as hard because I can push both like the same amount. We caught up with Giovanna a few months later. It's opened a new mm. world of confidence. It's been absolutely amazing. It's interesting to see how more approachable, I guess, it makes me because people are curious now. They're like, wow, I like your arm. Please tell me about it. They're like more open to asking. It's a conversation starter. It's an icebreaker. Now that I'm in school, it's been very, very helpful. I used to have so much trouble holding something and having to write stuff down at the same time. It just makes stuff fly by. It's really improved, like, my being able to take notes. Today she uses two hands to practice the piano. Makes me very happy. <laughs> um, I'm so excited that I could like actually do this with just a little bit better uh, fingerings. But she admits the hero arm took some getting used to. At first it was very hard to adjust. It was kind of difficult at first to like retrain like the way I had to approach things. It comes with different covers, such as the one she's wearing, Marvel's Iron Man. See, Iron Man. Recently, she took part in the Angel City Games, an adaptive sports festival where she tried track and field and played violin in front of a crowd. To play violin, she uses a custom prosthetic, but her favorite activity is rock climbing. Well, she inspired us every day because she challenged us all the time. She also teaches us that nothing is impossible. It's just to see her, how confident she become. It's, it's really rewarding. I am super proud of her. I am proud not of the things that she has accomplished uh, necessarily because, um, you know, that that's, that's just like obvious. Giving up should not be an option. Don't give up. Don't ever just 
like stop just because it's too hard. Lots of people have struggles and our struggles are important to ourselves. And the way that we handle those struggles reflect on ourselves to everybody else. You could say the hero arm turned a disability into a superpower. For Carolina Impact, I'm Sheila Saints reporting. Thank you so much, Sheila. Giovanni hopes to pursue a career in environmental engineering or biomedical technology.